hello and thank you for uh, having us uh, here today. Um, greetings from all of the five members of the Working Group on Enforced and Involuntary Disappearances. Uh, we have been engaged and involved in what's happening both today and what has happened in the in, in the in the history in the last decades in Iran in the context of disappearances. Both us and our predecessors have been aware and deeply troubled of both what has happened and what's keep happening. Um, before I tell a couple of things about the involvement of the working group in that area, I wanted to convene the deep solidarity from the working group to the families of all of the disappeared persons uh, and, and those that were left behind in those events that are still living with, with the uncertainty and the pain of, of those events. Um, thank you for, for bringing that forward and for making it possible for, for this international area to, to address uh, those issues at all. Uh, we, over the last uh, year, we have joined several events commemorating the, the massacres from 1988. Um, I uh, took part in a side event in October last year with, with the Special Rapporteur, uh, and thank you again, again for having us invited there. Uh, my, the Chair Rapporteur of our working group, Awa Balde, has joined a, a hearing in February this year on uh, with social um, and with, with civil society. Uh, so this is how we keep our link and also uh, keep engaged and also try to get information of what's happening on the ground. So those we would love to be here today in person with you to exchange and and learn from you. The working group regularly communicates on uh, disappearances in Iran. Both those have, are uh, occurring uh, currently and those that have happened in Iran in the past. So we have pressured many times authorities to solve and address those disappearances that have happened in the past, including specifically those uh, that uh, those uh, unaccounted deaths that, uh, that happened due to the massacres in 1988. Um, and I wanted to highlight two um, measures, um, two times we've mentioned that in a most newest report. So the report from 2023 that we published last year, we specifically um, called, uh, mentioned that we keep receiving cases on alleged disappearances uh, um, concerning back to, the, to 1988. So kind of raising the voice and, and reminding of those disappearances that have happened. But we also specifically address uh, Iran's, obli Iran's obligations to locate, pro uh, uh, protect, preserve and exhume mass graves um, and uh, conduct investigations in, 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 in those disappearances, in those uh, massacres, and that those investigations should be in compliance with international standards. And they should also aim at exhuming, uh, respecting and identifying those buried there. Because only through exhuming and identifying those that were buried, we would know for certainty and the families what has happened to those that we consider today to be disappeared. In the year before, in 2022, in our annual report, we have also addressed uh, those those disappearances, and specifically, we've uh, we've raised our concern about the ongoing concealment of burial sites. Uh, so, kind of specifically, again, on on those places where people have been buried, and the the necessity of uh, of exhuming and informing the families of what has happened. So our mandate, as we, uh, as, as we are mandated by the Human Rights Council, is uh, predominantly uh, 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 in, 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 in our um, uh, communication with the families, it's a humanitarian mandate. So that means we communicate between states and families in uh, establishing the fate and whereabout of the disappeared person. At the same time, we're also mandated, again by the Human Rights Council, to, um, as, uh, to, to assist states in how they implement the Declaration on Enforced Disappearances. And here, back to the Declaration, we trace the obligation of states uh, to punish perpetrators of enforced disappearances. And as enforced disappearances are a continuous crime, this uh, obligation to punish perpetrators also concerns disappearances that have happened decades ago, because again, it's a continuing um, 
and continuing crime and ongoing human rights violation that many persons here in the room i'm sure can uh, can speak to has um, um is, is is affecting families through generations uh, and not only during the time of the disappearance uh, so thank you uh, very much uh, to, to, to all the distinguished guests here and to the families for, for having us uh, shortly here and my apologies for not being able to join you. Uh, we are um, uh, looking at the situation carefully and we are always open to more engagement and trying to find better ways to, to engage with that topic. Thank you very much and I wish you very good uh, discussions today.